guys, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, bringing you another Redstone tutorial. This time, we're doing a uh, Creeper Spider Farm with where you only get gunpowder. Yep. So, let's take a quick look. It's a very simple design, and in fact, actually, it's based around two people's designs that I uh, took. One is uh, the Nimbomb and uh, Il Mango design with the uh, platforms and a old school style single bucket using a piston bomb using a dispenser design but yeah it's literally simple to build it all revolves around one bucket of water to flood the entire floors now I'm going to give you guys a little warning with this it, with how low I have it, it's actually pretty slow right now. Now, with farms, my farms on bedrock, you actually want to have them higher in the air. Not low. Build them up in the sky as high as you can because, unlike Java, we go from the top down. So you want to get this as high as possible. Now... As you can see, we are getting uh, spiders. We do get creepers. And I could show that by uh, coming down here. Coming in here. And, yeah, we got a skeleton in here. Doesn't matter. But, yeah, as you can see, we are getting gunpowder. Occasionally bones, stick, uh, bones and arrows. But, yeah. So... This part down here is just a way to uh, separate it out, which is, uh, I would classify fairly mid-game versus uh, this. This is early to mid. This is mid to late. You can use, in essence, you can just use water streams for this instead. But, yeah, I decided to be a little weird. This design actually I took from a, another Bedrock YouTuber, Navy Nexus. And it's just the uh, activation of the pistons into what's what he calls a force field. But, yeah. But as you can see, they get pushed off. If they fall down into the next level, they still can't get back up to the previous level. And as soon as spiders land, they get launched into lava. Because I don't want them. <laughs> Okay, so, let's head up top and look at the redstone. Wow. Very simple redstone. Two clocks. Okay. Yeah, so. And, it, so, yeah. What do you say, guys? Let's get to building this thing. Okay, guys. I'm back, and as you can see, we're uh, up at 200 uh, at Y200. I told you, higher the better, which is what we want. So, inside the shulker box is everything we would need to build the major part of that. So, let's take a look and see what we need. We need two pistons, two hoppers, two comparators, two does, and we're going to need a bunch of items to put in here, but that's up to you. I do recommend a stack of items because it gives you a fairly decent amount of time to allow things spawn. And then also we're going to need three does, four comparators, and I do recommend either using a dropper or a dispenser or a redstone lamp. I'm just using a dropper because I feel like it. Uh, dropper, hopper, comparator, and redstone. This one you're going to need an additional item. Then an observer, a dispenser, and water. One bucket of water for the entire thing. Uh, you're going to need a way to collect the items, a way to kill them. Mob proofing for the entire thing. These for the roof. Torches will work out too. That's the nice thing about this because you can set it up so that you need, uh, you can actually activate the system, get out of the area, and then mobs will be able to spawn. 
Then you've got, uh, then I'm going to be using a bunch of blocks to build with, some trap doors, and some walls. So let's grab everything out. And we will start. Okay. Break that. So the first thing you want to do is get to your location and place your, oops, a wall. This is going to be the center. This is the center of the farm. We're going to be building from the bottom up. So from the wall, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want to make it eight out. You can do that to all the sides, or you can just Di uh, just diagonal it out and get it because we want to create a diamond. Diamonds in the sky. So as soon as uh, let's get this part done and while you're building, place down your torches or your carpets, something to prevent mobs from spawning. And the only reason why I'm not going, uh, I'm allowing the spiders to come in, is because I want the maximum amount of spaces for creepers to spawn too. And removing one space reduces the spawn rates, but you get a spider which ouch it's helpful and detrimental at the same time and no you can't use just walls to prevent them from spawning in an area they will spawn in that area anyways so now that we got this area set up what we're going to do is go to the center hole i'm just going to place this right here because if we add the water and i break this all right well I did one too many. <laughs> supposed to, yeah, we, yeah, it's supposed to end up just like this. You can actually use the same design without the trap doors for every mob. And I, it's a pretty decent idea. The only ones that you will have trouble with would be the zom uh, baby zombies. So we'll cut that down by one. So let's get rid of the water. Okay, so from the center, we're going to go up three blocks. And we're going to pick a side. doesn't matter what side you want. And we are going to go all the way to the end of the line. And we're going to break out these two because we don't need them. And we're going to place trap doors on all of these blocks. All of the blocks underneath are going to end up having them, but these ones are very special. Then we're going to fill this in, both sides. Now, the reason why I'm using glass is because, well, I like to watch the uh, water flow. <laughs> Leaving the center alone, we're going to place more blocks. If there is a spot where a mob can spawn, trap door needs to be there. If there's not, don't worry about it. But we need blocks there. So let's finish this part up. Leaving the center alone. Now, we're going to take another wall and place it there and break that block. Now we can break all of these. And we need to surround that, so let's just do this. And we're going to line, uh, run more cobbles, uh, more walls or fences all the way to the end, leaving this one there. Then from here, we're going to go back down, and we're just going to 
now we're just going to do the same thing down here and just add more platform. <laughs> now you don't have you can make this as high as you want. If you want it, well, you can have as many cells as you want. If you want 20 cells, you can have 20 cells. If you want 50, you can have 50. There is no it is as many as you want. Now, if you really want to increase your rates, uh, if you want to increase the odds of mob spawning, what I recommend is actually building these and the furthest point from where you're standing. So let's say this is going to be the furthest one here. And your AFK is over there. 59 blocks from this way in a sphere which means you might have to do some uh, do some math to figure out where you need to put your AFK spot and from there you build four of them your AFK spot four identical cells okay so now that we got this part done we go back underneath and we just put more trapdoors And yeah, it's quite tedious. And that's all you do is you have walk around placing your trap doors. You can walk underneath uh, and place them. This is the only level that does that you have to do that you are not going to be doing the same thing over with and over and over with because this one is the only difference between this level and everything else is you have this right here and only right here this gives a full 360 for it now the reason why I'm not using something like a bunch of dispensers is because what I call desync issues because I've tried and tried and tried and I'm and I was constantly getting them where the observers were not lining up where I wanted them to so they would you, I would have a row of water in an area that was supposed to be dry. So they weren't sinking right. So Or they would lose their sink of the timing. So I had to figure out ways to improve the sink ratio. And, well, one observer works out well. One observer, one bucket of water. A little bulky yes but the effect that you get from it is actually quite nice so now that we got this done what we do is we go and take and everywhere there's glass put a block here we need to take a, actually here we need to put two walls. So here we go. So and then we cover this up. And once I and guys, when I have it covered up, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and I've got the platform set. I've got just four torches per level that you're going to need, and that's if you're going to be using torches just to prevent while you're working on it mobs from spawning in. If you have to leave, come back, get more stuff, you'll be able to do that without any mobs from spawning. So the next thing we're going to do is, again, from the center, we're just going to go up to and add another block, break it. We're going to surround this because we're going to need to be able to do, uh, be able to access, put trapdoors on these. Now, these walls are here for one reason and one reason only. You can't, uh, creepers won't be able to get into the center path here, preventing, uh, allowing them to get stuck over here. So we'll just uh, continue going this way, bring it all the way over to above this one, leaving this open, fill this in with glass, fill this again with trapdoors. 
We'll crouch and place this here because we because we need this to seal and to prevent any make sure any, no mobs go there. We can leave the trapdoor there, or we can place a block. Normally, I place a block, and we fill it in. And from here, we can go on to the next height. We can get, uh, and we can literally use this to keep going further up, up, and up. So we fill it in. Make sure that we follow the pattern over here for it. And then as we go to the top, I'm just going to do a break this, break this, torch, one more, torch, filling it in all the way. And... <clears throat> I recommend building about uh, four or five layers. So, and this is a repeating pattern here. So you literally build four, uh, you build four of these and the very bottom one. We're going to go up to about 250. No, we're going to go up, but I'm actually, I'm going to go up four more uh, three more of these layers right here and leave this one here so we're going to have four of these layers and one of these so you guys I'll be right back when I actually have all those layers built so give me a moment okay guys I'm back and I've got my uh, five layers built yep I didn't uh, and I just got to get torches on these ones because like I said all you have to do is just Place torches just to prevent mobs from spawning in here while you are while you leave the area to get more stuff if you need to and you can uh, build this as high as you want so from here we need to go up another two and we're using solid blocks instead of the glass and we're going to I'm only gonna do part of this right now go and make the diamond again and this is before we do the uh, last part because once you get your diamond in and you get your trapdoors in the center one we're going to break out because we need to place a dispenser in fact, actually, we need our observer first and then our dispenser. We're going to place a temporary block up here, place our observer going down, and then we're going to get our dispenser and place it going uh, facing down right there. And then we're just going to continue on with our... Uh, platform with our just allowing only creepers and spiders to spawn then from here we're going to go out another set of blocks and we're going to go out a few more so we want this to be at least light level seven i recommend uh, i recommend lower but you need it at least seven so we'll say we want this to be five okay so five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so all the blocks under here is light level 15 all the blocks under here is light level seven and here is six well torches keep it a little better lit and we just and then all you have to do is continue on adding more and more around just keep making the box now eh, I don't want red carpet now when you get done with that you're going to need to mop proof it all I recommend just using carpets so just 
put carpets on the entire top of this thing. It will allow you to have more, you know, it will prevent mobs from spawning up here and not require any light sources at all. That's why I'm using other things there. So, I'm actually going to build that top floor and then we'll get to the redstone right after that. So you guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I got the top platform done. They all have trap doors. They're all ready to be spawned. But there's no way to control the water. So, first thing we do is we go to where our observer is. We get our block that we're going to be using for the update. It has to be a solid block like a dispenser, a dropper, or a redstone lamp to make it work. So we'll put that down. And then we're going to decide, okay, where are we going to go? So we're just going to go here. First thing is we get ourselves a 4x4 area a two by four area we'll put a dust there there and there compared to going into the dropper compared to coming out this is a uh, comparator decay clock or pulse extender if you if you're one of those people it's still the same thing then we're going to go two more place it there Going into the going into the dropper, we're going to place a repeater, set it to four ticks, and a comparator coming out. Then we're going to take a dropper, facing towards the comparator, and a hopper going into the dropper right next to the comparator. Then we're going to take an item. Now we'll take a trapdoor and throw it in. Now, I forgot one thing, which is quite crucial. We need a redstone block. We're going to set it right there, away from this. Because uh, when we do this, we're going to set it up so that it powers once before it finishes. So we're going to set a piston there and there. Now, this will work on Java minus the uh, using regular pistons. I do recommend using sticky pistons because this is an ethyl hopper clock. So now we place a uh, block there, block up, and a block down. We don't need anything there. We can leave those alone. There, up, and down. We're going to set a comparator on these blocks, dust on these, and we'll get our hoppers again. Put you up there, take you down here, and I'm just going to set that there for now. Power you, I can connect you, and you. Now. You can have, uh, I do recommend having this controlled where you use however you want to stop it. I recommend just using a lever. It fires once, and there we go. Then you just fill this up with a stack of items. It's going to cycle over there holding it. Nothing's going to happen over here. Now, the last thing before you fire it is you come back down here. Open this up and throw your one bucket of water. Come back up and here we go. Now everything's set so if you want to start you just turn that off and it's going to go. Like I said it immediately starts by going and processing and uh, it starts processing it by reducing the amount there. Now, 
Anything extra added onto this is up to you guys, how you collect them, how you kill them, if you separate out the spiders or not. But the more, uh, the further away you are, the better it is. So now we are clearing out the, those torches, getting it nice and dark in there. And I just love watching this thing go because just as soon as it one pulls out, it pushes it out. Now, I'm not going to bother collecting anything right now because I don't need to. But, yeah, so all you do is figure out a way you want to kill them and how to collect the items. After that, that's up to you. Now, a little bonus for you guys is that uh, spider separator. So, we'll just let this uh, process. So, what you do for a spider separator is, uh, let's just come all the way down here. So, what we do is, we need at least for them to land in a 3x3 three three hole. And that's minimum. You can have them land in a bigger hole if you want. Let's get some torches in this. <laughs> so you guys can see. I don't feel like uh, doing night vision. There we go. So what we do is get a 3x3 three three hole at least. Pick a side that you want and extend it out by one. And we're going to set this here. At least too high. Now this will separate out the spiders. Allowing you to maintain creepers. Get yourself some buttons, some signs. But yeah, just buttons or signs. Don't use trap doors. They will stop the spiders. And just come down here and we'll stop that. We'll get a bucket of water. And you can continue this however you need to. They will not. I always uh, cap this part off, which means this gets up one more. And I always have water dumping into it. In this corner here, we're going to place our water bucket. Now, as you can see, it goes, it continues traveling on this way, one wide. And over here, we have this. So if I would spawn a spider in, over here you will notice that he will eventually come over here now here's where you put however you want to kill those spiders and over here is however you want to kill your creepers and if it's a general mob farm also this is how you want to kill your creepers but you guys I hope this was actually quite useful for you. In the link, uh, I do have a Discord, and occasionally I will be posting little things like, "Hey, what would you like me to post?" and uh, "What type of video do you think will be great?" Well, I like to thank one of my Discord members, Sparky, for this idea. So, but you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.